Hello Taurus. So Taurus, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you. The messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general Taurus, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, who is coming towards Taurus? Who is coming towards Taurus? What is the energy? Who's coming towards Taurus? Somebody who's very stubborn. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay, Taurus. So I feel like for some of you, um, your spirit team is definitely going to be warning you about this person. For some of you, I feel like there's somebody coming in that is trying to like catch you off guard here. That wants to catch you when your defenses are down. Somebody wants to see if like you're going to take the bait. That's what I'm getting with this um, energy. Let's look a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about who's coming towards Taurus. What is the message? Who's coming towards Taurus? What is the energy? Who's coming towards Taurus? What's the message? Okay. Contemplation. Give me another message. Somebody who can't make up their mind. Friends with benefits. Yeah. Somebody who doesn't want anything serious. Give me another message for Taurus. What is the energy? What's the message, Spirit? Who's coming towards Taurus? Boundaries. Someone you need to set boundaries with. For some of you, you've already set boundaries with this person. I'm getting like... um. A child's father or mother energy. So this is somebody who you've already been with for some of you. Let's tap in further and see what is the message. Spirit, tell me why is boundaries here? I mean, why is contemplation here for Taurus? What is the energy? For some of you, this could be somebody um, who you're thinking about going back towards or they're thinking about coming back towards you. But I feel like you've already done around with this person. You've already had some type of experience with this energy. Tell me more about contemplation. Why is this here for Taurus? The chariot, yeah. Cancer energy, tell me more about contemplation. The five of pentacles, yeah. So this is somebody who left you out in the cold, left you feeling like mentally, emotionally depleted. I feel like this person moved on from you. Give me an energy on the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? What is the message? For some of you, this is somebody who you may um, think about on and off and how they treated you. How they didn't do right by you. Look at this, the star. Um... Aquarius energy be mindful because for some of you like this is somebody who is sick Yeah, somebody has some type of illness here This person could be an Aquarius or cancer or have it highly aspected Somebody could be trying to come towards you to give you this whatever this illness is For some of you this person could be trying to figure out where they got this illness from and this could be somebody thinking that they may have got it from you take it as it resonates give me an energy for the chariot why is the chariot here the nine of wands yeah because this person um does not like to use precaution yeah somebody's sick here somebody's trying to figure out where they got some type of illness from and for some of you, this person is thinking that you could be one of the options that they received whatever this sickness is from. Yeah. Tell me more about friends with benefits. 
this is somebody who can live like a very reckless lifestyle. They have a lot of friends with benefits, connections. But somebody definitely has something here. Give me an energy for friends with benefits. Why is this here for Taurus? The Emperor. Yeah, Aries energy. Tell me more about friends with benefits. Why is friends with benefits here? Yeah, there's somebody that goes from place to place. Also be mindful too. Somebody could be coming back towards you, Taurus, and they're homeless. They don't have anywhere to stay. And they're um, reaching out for some type of help. Give me an energy for friends with benefits. Why is friends with benefits here for Taurus? What is the energy? They the pentacles. Yeah, this could be somebody um, that you work with, you know from work, some type of boss figure. Definitely somebody um, in a very um, high level position. Give me an energy on this emperor. Why is the emperor here? What is the message? Why is the emperor here for Taurus? What is the energy? The five of swords. Tell me more about the eight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles. I feel like this person is frustrated because this person treated you like a Knight of Wands energy for some of you. And they wish that they would have made a long-term investment. Somebody wishes that they would have committed to you. They would have wiped you up pretty much. And that's why this person is all in their head. Somebody wishes that they would have settled down when they had the opportunity to do so. That's what this is giving me. Give me an energy on boundaries. Why is boundaries here? So you definitely already know this person. Tell me more about boundaries. Why is boundaries here for Taurus? What is the energy? The lovers. Yeah. Um. Be mindful because this is somebody who likes to deal with other people. They have options. Gemini energy on the lovers. This is also someone that likes people to compete for them. They love attention. They love to be seen. Somebody's like a clout chaser. Also be mindful if you do anything in the public eye. If this person sees you winning, this could just be you posting um, pictures on Facebook, Instagram of your life and all of these amazing blessings, all of these amazing changes that you're experiencing. And this person wants to come back around to when you over because they see you winning. Give me another energy for boundaries. Why is boundaries here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is boundaries here for Taurus? What is the message? Why is boundaries here for Taurus? What is the energy? The Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to try to rush you into being intimate with them, but you need to say no to this person, especially um, because for some of you, this person does have some type of illness here. Give me a message for the lovers. Why is the lovers here? What is the message? Yeah, this person is going to come rushing in. Why is the lovers here for Taurus? What is the energy? They regret how they treated you. Yeah, look at this Six of Wands. This person um, deals with a lot of people. And I feel like they're known for getting around. Yeah, it's no secret. This person is like a player. They have a lot of options. And it's like the more the merrier. This person lives a very reckless lifestyle. They do things without thinking. They rush into things, rush out of things. Give me an energy on the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Taurus? What is the energy? Yeah, so this person's going to come in and see if you're going to take the bait. Yeah, Seven of Wands. You need to um, put up boundaries with this person. Yeah, this person is still juggling here. They're still dealing with other people. For some of you, I feel like it's because of this person's success, the fact that they have money. 
they're able to get who they want. Give me one more on the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? What is the message? The Page of Cups. I feel like um, this person is very immature. For some of you, um, this person also could not be telling you about a child. Somebody could have someone pregnant. Yeah, and they're not disclosing that information. This is giving me like, if you don't ask, I'm not going to tell. So yeah, this person has a lot of secrets. Just a lot of different things going on. That you don't really need to get involved in. Give me an energy for pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, this person's like trying to hide this. Don't want you to find this out. This person could also be trying to get away from whoever they have this kid with. Give me an energy. You know what? Give me something on the seven of wands and then we'll get a message for pay attention to the red flags. Why is the seven of wands here for Taurus? What is the energy? Yep, this person is lying. This person is keeping things hidden from you. A child for some of you, an illness, multiple lovers. Like, yeah, they wish that when they had the opportunity, they should have invested in you because look at their life. Like, it's crazy. Somebody's dealing with a lot, but that time has passed. Give me an energy for pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, this person could definitely be lying about a kid. Or just not telling you. Why is the page why is pay attention to the red flags here for Taurus? What is the energy? Why is pay attention to the red flags here for Taurus? The tool of yeah. Somebody's still juggling, like I said. This person still confused, can't make up their mind. They don't know what they want. <laughs> Despite everything that they're going through, they still haven't changed. Somebody's still in two minds. Like one day they may want a commitment and then the next day they want to have options. They want to be a player. So let's pull some advice. Spirit, give me some advice for Taurus. What is the energy? Give me some advice for Taurus. What is the energy spirit? Give me some advice for Taurus. What is the message? Okay. Let him lead, provide, and hunt. Somebody's also like a macho man. They do have a very huge ego. Give me another message. This is also somebody that feels like, you know... People should be in their place. This is somebody that wants to be the head. This is somebody um, that doesn't know how to humble themselves. This is also someone like if you get into a relationship with this person, they'll feel like because, you know, they're with you um, and you get to claim them as your man or your woman and then their provider on top of all of that they take care of you that they should be able to go out and do whatever they want this person will disrespect you spirit give me another energy for taurus what is the advice Pay attention to the red flags. Oh my goodness, Taurus. Pay attention to the red flags. I'm telling you, because somebody could be coming in like they are good cash. They have so much to offer. They're ready to be the head and not the tail. Somebody's ready to step into their power to be this emperor energy, but they're not. This person is selling you a dream, the star. They're selling you a dream. And there's a lot they're not telling you. And for some of you where this person is hiding some type of health condition, dealing with this masculine energy or feminine could change your life. So pay attention to the warning signs. Not what this person is saying only, 
see if their actions are aligning with their words. For some of you, this person going to give themselves away. Somebody just have too much stuff going on. Like, you're going to find out very quickly that this person is not who they are trying to come off to be. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how they can get over on you, how they can get back into your energy without letting you know about all of this they have going on in the background. But spirit is going to expose it to you. For some of you, you definitely need to pay attention to your dreams as well. So Taurus, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.